This is Elias walking you through the steps of pupillary exam. So the first component of the step is inspecting the pupil. So what you do is you will sit in front of the patient and shine a light from the front. And what you are focusing here is A, the color of the iris. Is this any heterochromia? The other thing that you're seeing is the shape of the pupil, whether it's completely round or slightly irregular. And the third thing that you are noticing is uh, the difference between the size of both the pupils. So if there's a difference in the size of the two pupils, that is called anisophobia. The next step in the pupil exam after the inspection is looking at the, uh, the, the light reflex and the accommodation reflex. So done the inspection in which you have seen the color of the iris, the shape, and size of both pupils, and you are comparing this. After this, you're doing the light reflex, and light reflex has three components. One is the direct light exam, the indirect and then the swinging flashlight test. So, so in order to do the light reflex test, you need to be sitting on the side of the patient. You dim the lights. You sit on the side so that the patient can overlook your shoulder at a distant object. And then you bring the light from the side, focusing on the eye where you are shining the light. And you see for a constriction and then a dilation and then a hippus, which is basically an oscillation of constriction and dilation. You shine a light again to confirm what you've seen and you can see a constriction followed by a dilation and then that oscillation of constriction and dilation, which is a hippus, H-I-P-P-U-S. And as you can observe here, you can see that oscillation. Now you are going to focus on the other eye by shining a light from underneath the patient so that both eyes are illuminated completely. And while focusing on the left eye, you are going to shine the light in the right eye and focus on the constriction and then the dilation and then a hippus. Now, as you can see, when I shine the light, in the right, you see constriction of the left eye followed by a dilation and then that oscillation between constriction and dilation. Now, what you are going to do is you're keep going to keep on shining the light from a distance and you're going to do a swinging flashlight test. You shine the light in the right eye, you hold it there and then you shift it on the left eye. So you do one, two, three, shift, one, two, three, shift, one, two, three, shift one two three you are seeing an equal constriction in both eyes when you shine the light in the right eye you see a constriction of the right eye when you're shifting the light to the left eye you do not see any further constriction or dilatation of the pupil which shows that there is no RAPD. So once you have done this you are going to do an accommodative reflex or a near target reflex you are going to ask the patient to look at a distance while shining and giving an accommodative target at near you are going to shine the light from underneath so that both pupils are eliminated ask the patient to look at a distance the dis uh, near target is going to be at a 35 to 40 centimeters from uh, the patient and then ask him to look at near where you observe a the eyes going in and also the constriction of the pupil when they focus on a near target so now he's looking at a distance and then he looks at near and you see a constriction which shows that the accommodation is intact so it is important to understand the pathway before this starts making sense so when you are this is explained very well in ophthalmology explained and if you look at the left eye there is the, the afferents from the optic nerve go to the optic chiasma and cause a crossover 
they also go on the same side without crossing over and then they go in the midbrain where they are connected to the pretectal nucleus and then from the pretectal nucleus they either go to the edinger westfall nucleus of the same site as well as the edinger westfall nucleus of the contralateral site so whenever you shine a light on the left eye while observing the left eye signals will go from the optic nerve all the way back and go to the pretectal nucleus and then from the pretectal nucleus they will go to the edinger westphal nucleus of the left eye and from there they will go all the way forward to the ciliary ganglion of the left eye from where the, opt the oculomotor nerve is going to relay the signals to the sphincters of the pupil causing a pupillary dilation so in a direct reflex you will see if this whole passage is intact you will see a constriction of the pupil now in an indirect uh, uh, light reflex you are shining a light on the left eye while observing the right eye so signals from the left eye will go all the way back to the pretectal nucleus of the same side and then they will cross over to the edinger westphal nucleus of the contralateral side and then through the oculomotor nerve of the contralateral of the right side they will be relayed to the ciliary ganglion and then to the sphincters of the pupil of the right eye. So shining a light on the left eye will also cause a constriction of the right eye if the indirect pathway is completely intact. Now in swinging flashlight test, what you are doing is you are shining a light on the left eye and then observing the left eye and then after some seconds shifting the light to the right eye while observing the right eye and what you are seeing is whether there's any partial uh, obstruction of the vessel so if the optic nerve is sending full signals to the to the pretectal nucleus and the and both the edinger westphal nucleus there's going to be equal constriction in this side as well as this side but if there's 50% optic nerve uh, transmission, then there's going to be 50% constriction here and 50% constriction here. And when you shift this light from the left eye to the right eye, the signal transmission from 50% will go to 100%, causing further constriction of the pupils. And when you shift the light from the right eye back to the left eye, the transmission from a 100% goes down to a 50%. So when you're shining it, when you're shifting the light from the right to the left, you will see dilation of the pupil. Now this phenomena is called RAPD, and what I have demonstrated shows that this is an RAPD of the left eye. Thank you.